I'm ready to move in, sir. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. I thought I heard something new. Enemy sighted. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. What do we know about this synth, Gabriel? Designation B592 is holed up in the shack on top of the upended cargo ship. He's probably got his best fighters with him, so we should plan on heavy resistance. So. Are you ready to go in? All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. Fucking coward hides.
right here.
Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. I'm listening. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. What do you mean by reset his cognitive processes? Put more simply, the recall code will render him unconscious even while he's still standing. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. Hard-working Commonwealth gangs. B-592, initialized factory reset. Authorization Gamma-71 Epsilon. Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to me. them out! Oh. Sean, I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Why do you care what happens on the surface? You're in your own world down here. Because there are forces on the surface that could pose a threat to us, and only a fool ignores a possible threat. We might diminish that danger by correcting the false perception that we intend some great harm to mankind. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased.
Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Three levels of a group. You believe that? Three! Like any machine, a synth can malfunction. Just wish it didn't happen so often. Your new quarters are here, sir. When you're finished here, sir, Father wants to see you. <clears throat> yes, sir. Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. Hello, Father. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. They no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. What happened? What have they done? They are in possession of technology that does not belong to them. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small.
But Cahill must be dealt with, if for no other reason than to make a point. Not so. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel justifiably proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the Synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing Synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. Response. You think the Minutemen won't help the Synths? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. And time and time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The Synths are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them to help, and they'd mutiny. I don't know. Take your time. Think it over. But remember, the synth's fate is literally in your hands. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment, since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans. I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention.
I want to know what to do if she refuses. Nothing that would provoke a hostile response. If she refuses, you're not to press the issue. Remember, infiltration of the Institute is our larger goal. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Shots and big mouths. I get those raiders at Libertalia with quite a handful. Doctor. You again. What do you want now? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Let's just say that you've regained the attention of a certain group that I represent. Stop beating around the bush. It's obvious that you're from the Brotherhood of Steel. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lyons let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. 
Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is gonna work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Are there any other options? That's my offer. Take it, or leave it. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the Biosciences Division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Operating at full capacity. Good to see you. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected.
got it. Terminal should open this. I'm in. Personal record, Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. We've learned nothing useful in the last 10 years. Why does Father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone, anyone. Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, <clears throat> the lives we've is taken. Always open. Would you like some processed sustenance God. packets? May you have mercy sure. on us all. Let's take a look. Dr. Lee. Took you long enough to find that evidence. Let me see what you've got. Here you go. A holotape. This better not be a waste of my time. lied to me. They lied to me, and I didn't even realize how far it went. All those years of loyalty. For nothing.
Is this enough to convince you? More than enough. I came to the Institute to get away from the Brotherhood. From the whole world. I just wanted to do my research in peace. Father took me in and gave me access to cutting-edge technology that I only dreamed existed. <laughs> I became jaded. I thought that the Institute cared, that they wanted to better mankind. <sighs> Maybe in their own twisted way they still do. But now I realize if you can't trust the people you're working for, then it's all pointless. If they lied about Dr. Virgil, who knows what else they've been lying about? Or what their plans are for my work? I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. vaporize you. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing! And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? Got it right here. That's it! That's really it! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Hey there. Yes. Yes. It seems to have matured nicely. How are you going to test it? On myself, of course. That was the plan. This serum will only counteract the specific strain of FEV that I infected myself with. There's no telling what it might do to anyone else. All right. Here we go. Protect ah. and serve. No. We wait. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you.
I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? Will she be harmed if she doesn't cooperate? Absolutely not. We have big plans for Dr. Lee, including the resurrection of one of her greatest creations. The last thing we'd want to do is kill the Golden Goose. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, I believe you still possess an important piece of data that Proctor Ingram is eagerly awaiting. I want you to bring it to her immediately. Once again, Knight, you don't fail to impress. Dismissed. Proctor, I came across a hollow tape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. You didn't expect me to survive the trip? A device like the Signal Interceptor is way out of my league. I was hoping you'd make it, but I find it tough to have faith in technology I don't understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. What do you hope to find on there? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan scribes can get off of it. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, I've got a new assignment for you. So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? Why all the secrecy? We're pouring every resource we have into this thing. We can't risk tipping off the Institute. For now, the fewer people that know about it, the better. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, and I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry in the farm. Maxon and Kelvs have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Do you remember that holotape of Institute data I gave you? I really need it back. I'd appreciate knowing why you want me to hand over highly sensitive data first. What's the difference? I assume you got everything you needed from it. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Here's the original. Already made myself a copy. Feels good to walk Ingram? In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. My help? I don't know a thing about robot repair. Why don't we leave the repairing to my scribes? You're going to be doing the legwork. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out.
There's got to be a way to solve that. I do all the maintenance on the Pridwin, so you'd think it'd be a snap. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power systems are out of my league. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. If you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Of course. What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. That's very kind. Thank you. Well, you deserve it. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg, toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. If he was, I never got a chance to ask. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I had moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death, well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it, but the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you, and I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature, and, well, I'd like to keep it that way. Here's that holotape you gave me, full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. 